Hello. Here we'll look at the situation when variability of an economic variable depends on the level of that variable. On the horizontal axis we put time, on the vertical axis we put income and consumption. And we consider two situations, one of a poor person and another of a wealthy person. This horizontal line represents income. This wavy lines represents consumption of the same person. The particular shapes of those two lines does not matter because what matters is that the, the difference between them. And this red line represents what is called the subsistence level. The other possible name for that is survival level. If a person consumes this lower than less than this level, then that person cannot survive. Okay? So uh, between these two vertical lines we have what is called the saving period. And you can notice that since the income of this person is already low and close to the subsistence level, so this saving cannot be much lower than that person's income. And whatever this individual saves during saving period is spent at the next level, at the ne in the next period, which is the saving period. And here, since this de deviation of saving from income cannot be very large, in the next period, deviation of the saving from income of that individual cannot be very large. And we can compare what happens to a wealthy person. We have income, a dashed line, and this is consumption of that person. And deviation of consumption from income can be pretty big. Like here, for example, a wealthy person would be comfortable consuming at this level because this level is much higher than the subsistence level. And correspondingly, during the next period, the saving can be much higher than in case of a poor person. Here, during period the saving, we can talk about purchases like houses, castles, yachts, whatever. And the conclusion is this, that variability of consumption grows with, in, with consumption or income. Instead of consumption or income, you can think about small companies versus large companies. Here we have income of a, large, uh, of a small company and correspondingly expenditures of that company or income and expenditures of a large company. Or we can talk about GDP. In one case, GDP of a small country and in the other, GDP of a large country. This is all about economic intuition of heterosc behind heteroscedicity. Thank you.